All right, in today's video, I'm going to share the technology I use as an engineering student to stay productive during the semester. The first piece of tech I use is an iPad. So there's two apps I use on my iPad. One is OneNote, where I paste all my lecture notes, all my um, past papers onto there, and then I can just review them and annotate them on my iPad. The second one is Anki flashcard app, where I review all my flashcards on my iPad. I use this controller, 8-bit diode, where if you connect it to your iPad, you can review your flashcards much quicker by just pressing one button and it makes it much more seamless and um, removes the friction to review the flashcards. I'm starting my semester this year but last year I got like around a thousand flashcards on here so it's amazing to have everything in one place and it all organized into its module, into its topic and allows me as like a stress head to just relax because I know it's all in one place. The only downside of an iPad is it's really slow at taking screenshots so I make flashcards on my MacBook which when I sync it up to my monitor it's really easy to do then after I've annotated the lecture slides and I've um, gone over the lecture by watching the, the video I will paste over the lecture slides into Anki and use the image inclusion add-on where I can hide specific text and stuff so that I can make it actually active my recall and I can try and recall the information out of my brain the most important thing is just to do past papers um, but say it's a very memorization based topic, I will put all the lecture slides into Anki and I will review them a lot. Um, it's great because it's all in one place and I don't have to worry about any like paper printing out or anything like that or any organization files. It's literally just all in one place. I only take this into uni and nothing else really. Um, the second piece of tech that really helps me um, a lot is my AirPods because I study a lot in the library at uni because I find it much nicer, I can get out, um, I can see my friends and stuff. Having these on when I study allows me to remove all the distraction, all the noise, and just focus in on the lecture that I'm listening to on my iPad or focus in on the past paper I'm doing with some white noise in my ears. Especially like listening to audiobooks, YouTube videos and stuff like that, they're amazing because they also sync with the iPad and my computer very well. I've made it a dumb phone. Even though it's an iPhone, it allows me to just focus on what's important. The main thing I use every day is I use the forest timer where I just press this, then I triple click, then it guided access and pretty much it locks my phone onto the forest app so I can't literally go anywhere else, I can't really use anything else but the forest app. So pretty much I just use leave my phone <laughs> like that <laughs> majority of the day so I don't get distracted. This Pomodoro timer, um, probably the best investment I've made because I lose track of time very easily and I don't know where it goes unless I can see it in front of me very clearly. And my journal where I just track the amount of time I'm spending studying and that really helps me just stay on task. Um, so I just block out my time like this um, before I go to bed. Um, the tasks, the objectives that I want to get done it takes me like two minutes before bed. I've tried so many other systems but that's what helps me time blocking for two minutes. And also Apple Watch. This is amazing because it reminds me to get up when I'm sitting down for too long. It reminds me to actually move and do my exercise. I've got my simple workouts on here where I just follow. I've got my meditation on here. I've got like a little simple to-do list and timer on here. I've got voice memos, which is great when I'm playing guitar and I'm singing and I want to catch a melody or something. So that's really fun. Um, it reminds me to like do my habits that I like to do, like reading. Um, so that moves on nicely to e-readers. Um, I've got two e-readers. So I've got the Kindle Scribe, which is amazing for like taking notes whilst you read if you want to be really intense with it. But um, it is quite big, so I can't really take it around me when I go to uni as much. So I use my smaller Kindle, which I just put in my pocket, which is amazing. My Casio calculator, that's all I really need for engineering, and um, it does the job. On my computer, I use a couple add-ons for Chrome so I don't get distracted. So I've got DFTube, which basically eliminates all suggested videos on YouTube and takes the comment section away so you don't get distracted. So you can just use YouTube for education and be more intentional with it. Another thing I use is the Speed YouTube Playback Speed, which basically um, you can make your YouTube video like 3x speed so you don't have to waste time and you can just get the video done. Right, the final thing I use really is I've got this thing called Owl OCR, which is amazing because it allows me to screenshot text really quickly. Another thing I use is this thing called Rectangle. This is amazing because it allows you just to snap applications over here. I've got this add-on which is amazing. You can block certain apps and um, websites so that you don't get distracted whilst you study. This has been so helpful and um, I paid like four pounds so that I can make a schedule 
so I don't get distracted. So in, like, in the morning, it blocks like email, um, Facebook, like eBay, YouTube, and stuff like that. So I don't get distracted first thing in the morning. When I took the choice of trying to make all my notes online, it really reduced my stress because I have allowed it to be all in one place and it will be organized in one place. And using my iPad as an efficient way to organize it all in one note and then take my notes from OneNote, put them into Anki, and have it all in Anki at the end, where I just review Anki, and that's the lead measure that I need to do, to do past papers. It allows me to reduce my stress so much more, stay much happier, and yeah, um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go now. So thank you very much for watching me, and I'll see you in the next one.